Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. Chinobu pack of card is falling down. Oh. Is the card is trashing down very quickly. Oh. The house is falling apart. So oh. not be smoking. Oh. Now the governor of uh, Lagos State and the uh, House of uh, the House oh, House of Assembly, the Speaker. Oh. Now they are two. The two don't tire apart. Say we say they don't mean business. So they see those serious. Not be smoking. They happen so. So, but they just have a react for the matter. Say now, wow. Obes say Osanwolu is not a superior and cannot dictate to him. Now, so governor and speaker of the house. So the matter now though serious. The thing though tie rapper. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. But they just react as the speaker of the house in Lagos State says Sanwolu is not his superior and cannot detect to him. As per a recent news with what is going on in Lagos State, Chief Body Judge, the former Deputy National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, has shared his thoughts on the ongoing crisis within the All Progressive Congress APC in Lagos State. In a recent statement, the Speaker of the House of Lagos State Assembly has certain that the Governor of the State Babajide Sanwolu is not his superior and therefore cannot give him orders. I only respect him because of Tinubu, but if he's not careful, he will have himself to blame. In an interview, Olabode George was asked to comment on Honorable Obase assertion that the governor is not superior to him and that they are equals. Nobody should impose or tell him what to do implying that nobody has the authority to give him orders. Why body judge was reacting to this, he said, okay, can he obas detect? Can he? If he's saying the governor cannot detect, okay. Can he also detect? I just tell you, if he made that comment, it shows you something. The Yoruba people have a saying, Okay. I'll take I'll just take the interpretation of the saying. There are certain undermining underlining issues that are coming right now to the surface. And this is because of Tinubu. This is because of Tinubu. Tinubu has put his voice in the place and now things are falling apart. You can see Lagos State APC is falling apart and it's falling apart quickly. For that speaking, but they just said the governor is not superior to me but he is the executive governor of the state and you are the head of legislative arm you must work in you must work together to produce a serviceable good they that everyone can work with and even six months into the administration they are doing themselves a lot of disservice fighting among themselves because they did not get there genuinely like they should and they're not working together like they should. Tinubu put them together, put them in different places, and see what is happening now. This is very, very absurd. And if he's not careful, his pack of card will come crumbling down. This is what we've been talking about for some time now. So that's Chief Body Judge giving an analysis of what is going on between the governor and the speaker of the House of Assembly in Lagos State. In fact, Chief Body Judge, to an extent, blames Tinubu for what is happening, you know, in uh, Lagos State. He blames Body Judge. Uh, um, Chief Body Judge blames Tinubu, saying, you know, you have, it's just that you did not uh, keep the reporting structure like it should be. You rather focus things and you center things on yourself. So everyone respects you, but does not, but no longer, nobody respects the hierarchy and how things should be. Nobody understands that there's sincerely, truly, and hierarchy and order in which things will go. So everybody, you know, is treating the other person not with respect, you know, and everybody is going about doing their own thing, saying, you, you know, I, I don't, uh, you are not, you are not, you are not uh, my superior. I can do as I choose, as I please. Yes, nobody is superior to you, but he's the executive governor. What you are saying is you cannot respect him. You can only respect Tinubu. That does not go well. There is what we call orderliness, so that an office, okay, so that a, a place does not suffer 
people need to begin to, you know, understand that there are what we call hierarchy. The hierarchy is not there to be lord over anybody, but it is there for orderliness, for administration. But now, now that very administrative uh, aspect is what you are breaking, saying he's not my lord. I don't think anybody has categorically said he's not my lord. But Chief Judge George is saying, if Tinubu does not put his house together, sort this issue out quite quickly, it's going to deteriorate. And before you know it, Lagos State might find themselves in a very difficult place. And Lagos APC, as things are falling apart, if they don't put things in order, it's going to affect a lot of them. Because whether you like it or not, okay, where there is rancor, where there is discord, where people are not truly happy, where there is disorderliness, disunity, you'll be shocked and surprised how things follow. So it is important that every single one of us begin to rise up and ensure that the right thing is done. Yes, we need to ensure that the right thing is done. And the right thing cannot be done because we wish it. There must be a position, there must be a way and an orderliness in which we declare and we ensure and enforce that the right thing is done. Other than that, people want to be unruly and do as they choose and please without considering the fact that, you know, the other person or the other people truly matters. And so we must be careful in how we dispense leadership in order for things to go well. Nigeria is the time to begin to advance and ensure that things are done properly is now. Chief Body George just looks at Tinubu and said, you are the cause. If uh, San Wolu is being treated the way it's treated, you caused it. You are allowed for this and you should, sh- you should take the blame. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, remember that you have a voice and so we must continue to speak out against everything and anything that is against us as a nation and as a people so that together, really sincerely, truly, we can advance and move forward. The nation belongs to us, but what are we doing? with what we have today. Because if we don't do anything about it, nothing will happen. It is important that we see these things and understand it and move forward. Yes, it is It is. It is what it is. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now.